At 11 in just an hour, Metro Police will shut down Broad Ripple Avenue between College and Guilford Avenues. This is just one of the several tactics that are being used to deter violence in that area after seven people were shot over two weeks ago. Also being used to monitor the activity, IMPD surveillance cameras. But for the Broad Ripple community, it's not enough, and they have their own ideas on how to combat crime. Let's take you in-depth now on that story. Todd? Erica, the Broad Ripple Village Association says the rise in crime has tarnished their reputation, affected their ability to do business, and impacted the quality of life there. On Wednesday night, the community was asked to help find solutions to deter that crime, and now we have some of those ideas for you. Our Drew Smith joins us live in Broad Ripple with what the community came up with. Drew. Well, Todd, we don't have time to get into all those ideas, but tonight we get the perspective of one business owner about these recommendations and a few thoughts of his own. That's probably the wrong reason to have children. I like to run. <laughs> Headliner Ryan Singer had him cracking up at Crackers Comedy Club. That's when you know you're scared when you put your metaphysical <laughs> But recent violence in Broad Ripple is not funny for the man who owns this house of laughter. I did see a decline in uh, overall attendance to the Broad Ripple area over the past couple of uh, weeks. At the Broad Ripple Village Association meeting earlier this week, stakeholders voted for ideas that they want to see implemented for a safer area. Number one vote getter, enforcing curfew laws. As far as the um, uh, curfew laws, they should be enforced anyway. Second in the voting, making the strip after 1 a.m. for people 21 and over only. Number three, people want to see cops on bikes. That's a great idea. I mean, you know, it's such a small area on bikes or plain clothes, either one. You know, because you have you already have the police officers out there that are in uniform that everybody can see, but you know, that's not where the stuff's going to be happening. And one thing Chris wanted to know is what happened to those surveillance cameras? If you've been down here at all lately, you've noticed that right on this corner, IMPD has some surveillance cameras that were very prominent. Well, they're no longer here, and Chris wishes they were back. And he'd like all the business owners here to install cameras outside their front doors to eliminate loitering, especially by underage people. So if some incident takes place, then the person the owner of the business, it's their tape that they are going to be using for their internal investigation if it's something that's damaged, but if there's something else that the police need to have a uh, facial recognition or something like that, they can, of course, provide that to the, the officers. And as Erica said, they're going to be shutting down Broad Ripple Avenue in just about 55 minutes. Miller said closing down the street there has had a positive effect on cutting down on cruising. Another problem here in Broad Ripple. Reporting live, Drew Smith, RTV6. Drew, thank you. We do have more on some of those ideas that residents voted on. To deal with the issue of crowds and loitering, the suggestions included more DUI and public intoxication arrests, increasing the business owner's responsibility for security, and checking and patrolling liquor licenses at businesses. To prevent damage to and theft of property, keep porch lights on and adding more street lights, and manage and repaint graffiti. To deter, to deter gang activity, the ideas suggested were closing the bars at midnight, telling bar owners they're responsible per, for behavior in and outside of their businesses, and requiring that anyone be 21 or older to enter the Broad Ripple Strip after 11. To discourage violence, the ideas included a $2 entry fee to Broad Ripple after 11 and revoking the liquor license for app locations causing problems. Now, if you'd like to see more of the ideas that were voted on to combat crime in the Broad Ripple area, you can log on to the IndyChannel.com, click on the hot button, and look for the Broad Ripple Village Association Public Safety Forum results. This